So in this video, we're going to do a mid-latitude sailing, and this one is going to be uh, the fine course and distance. So if you're given a point of departure and a point of arrival, find the course and distance. Okay, so first thing I want to do is um, uh, I'm always going to want to draw a diagram of what's going on in the problem, okay? So what I'm going to do here is, is I'm leaving from, uh, this is uh, L1, longitude 1, and this is L2, longitude 2, and I'm going to find CN and D, okay? That's course from north. That's course to steer. So I'm always going to draw a little diagram uh, to give, me, give myself an idea. So I'm going to go from uh, 20 north to 26 north, so I'm going to go further north. I'm going 122 east to 128 east, so I'm going further east. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a little, just to put a little uh, point down here. That is going to be my point of departure, okay, L1, uh, longitude 1. So this line right here is basically going to represent L1, and this vertical line here is going to represent longitude 1, okay? And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my triangle. So I'm going to go north first, okay? I'm going to go north first, and then I'm going to go east, okay? And I'm going to go to longitude 2. Uh, excuse me, this is latitude 2, and this one over here is going to be longitude 2. And my task is to figure out what those are. Uh, oh, actually, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was given longitude 2 and latitude 2. So this here, here is going to be uh, 2010 north, and up here is going to be 2618 north, and this longitude over here was 1220 east, and this longitude over here is 128 uh, 20 east. Now you don't have to be so elaborate in your in your in your diagram with labeling all that stuff. It's really the picture that I'm mostly interested in. Okay, so I went to go northeast. I went north and east. Okay, and the question is find C, which we're going to later convert to CN and D. So in order to do that, I'm going to find L. And I'm going to find P and D low. Okay, um, I'm going to be converting between those. Okay. Uh, so great. So I'm going north and east. So now what I want to do is I want to understand the relationship between my course from north and my quadrantial notation, which is going to be involved with this little internal angle. So I'm going north and east, so that's going to be north, course, angle, east. So this is going to be like a little formula I'm going to use to swap back and forth uh, between uh, my course, uh, between the course internal angle and what I'm actually going to steer. Okay, and we're going to figure all that out now. So now I'm going to go to Bowditch. All right, and uh, Bowditch, uh, the, the mid-lat section starts on page 580. If I go to 581, I can find example one. So this one here is, um, uh, let's see, find latitude and longitude of arrival. Well, I already know that, okay? So this is not my example. I flip over to the other side, and here's example two. Oh, find course and distance. That's what I want. So here are my three formulas, okay? Uh, I'm going to do this formula first, then this formula, then this formula. And Bowditch is even doing uh, all of it for me down here as well. This is all Bowditch, so we can just ignore all this log stuff, okay? But this is Bowditch doing uh, what needs to be done, okay? So these are my three formulas. P equals D low cosine LM. So I'm going to write that one. One, P equals D low cosine LM. That's cosine of the mid-latitude. And I also have to do tan C equals P over L. And I'm going to do tan C equals P over L. And I'm going to do D equals L C can't C. Now, I already know I'm not going to write that C can't C thing. I'm going to make that 1 over cosine C, okay? So uh, that I'm going to transpose this into D equals L over cosine C. So that's what I'm going to write over here. D equals L over cosine c. So those are my three formulas that I'm going to have to um, uh, manipulate. Okay, so looking at this, I need d low and I need cosine lm. In order to do this formula, so I'm going to do this formula first. That's what Bowditch told me. I'm going to calculate p. Okay, that's going to be here, the east-west distance. Okay, once I have p, I can put it into this formula. Okay, and, uh, uh, great. Uh, so I'll need that to get into that. But before I can get there, I also need LM. So I'm going to have to calculate the change in longitude, which is the longitude, the change from here to there. That's D low. Okay. I got to calculate that. And I got to calculate LM. So this is latitude one. That's latitude two. I got to calculate LM. Okay. So there's a couple different ways I can do that. 
all right? And um, once I have those two, I can calculate P, okay? Then uh, to do this formula, I need to have P and L, so I'll have to calculate L itself. I'm gonna subtract those two. Um, and then uh, the final formula is uh, I will take L and the C that I calculated in this step, and I can calculate the distance, okay? So we're gonna have to do a little transforming around to make all that happen, all right? So let's start with this one. I need d low and I need uh, cosine lm, okay? So I'm gonna calculate the uh, 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 d low first. Okay, so longitude two is 12820 east, and longitude one was 122, okay, east, all right? So d low is gonna be, I'm going in an easterly direction, d low will be in the direction of east, Okay, and um, when I do that little subtraction, I get uh, 6 and 20, 6 degrees, 20 minutes, okay? Now, if I look over here in Bowditch, I see that Bowditch did that as well. Bowditch calculated d low. What did Bowditch do to that d low? Now, this is not, these are not the numbers for my problem, but I'm using them as my example. Once Bowditch got degrees, minutes, degrees, minutes, Bowditch converted that to all minutes. So that's what I'm going to do now. So to make that all minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the 6 degrees times 60, and that'll give me 3,600 plus the 20 that was already there. So D low in minutes is going to be 380 minutes of arc for D low. Okay? All right, so great. I got that. So I'm going to need that for there. Okay, now, I also need to calculate um, uh, my... Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is, uh, let me just take these three formulas and bring them over here because I realize I'm going to need to work up here in a minute. So I'm going to say, here are my three formulas. One, P equals D low cosine LM. Two, tan C equals P departure over change in latitude. And then three, uh, D equals L over cosine C. All right, so uh, great. I'm just going to go ahead and... Erase those over there. All right. Okay, great. So I have D low. Okay. The next thing I want to do is uh, calculate D low. I got to calculate LM. So if you look in your example, here is Bowditch calculating LM. All right. So I could follow along with that. Looks like the difference between L1 and L2, that gave me little l. And then looks like Bowditch took half of the little l. Okay. And then applied that half of little l to either L1 or L2 to get this. Now, you could also, that's how Bowditch did it, okay? It's a little bit complicated. Um, I mean, there's a so somewhat easier way. I could add these two together and divide by two, and I would get that. The reason why we go through this step is that in the alternative problem, uh, you have to be able to do this calculate L and half L. Um, so, uh, anyway, I'm going to do it the way Bowditch did it, but you could probably just add your two latitudes together. But I want to go through this process because I think you need to know how to do it. Okay. So, um, what do we have? Our first latitude, second latitude, L2 is 26. L2 is 2618 north. And L1, I'm putting the big one at the top, L1 is 2010 north. All right? So, my little L, um, my little L then would be, uh, if I do a little subtraction, that is 8. And that's 6. So, it's 608. So half of L, okay, it's going to be 304. Now, what does that mean? That means that from, so L was 608. That's the arc from here to there. Half of L is 304. So this right here is 304. Well, if this is, is uh, 2010, uh, and I'm going to go 304 further north, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plus it to L1. Okay, so that's 2010, and LM is going to be 2314. Okay, okay, great. So, great. So, Bowditch calculated D low, put it there, and Bowditch calculated LM. Now, what am I going to do with this LM? It's going to go into this formula. Okay, so I'm ready to do this formula now, but I'm going to do a trig function on LM, and I can't have degrees and minutes in there. So what I need to do is I need to convert this to degrees, decimal degrees. So this is already in degrees, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to divide 14 by 60, 
okay? And I think you can see my calculator. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take 14 minutes. I'm going to divide that by 60, and that's going to give me 0.233, okay? And that is, that is uh, LM in, in degrees, decimal degrees. Okay, so now I'm ready to do my formula. So my formula is P equals D low. D low was 380 times the cosine of 23.233. Okay, and I'm just going to leave that number in my calculator. Okay, times uh, 23.233. Great. So um, I'm going to do uh, right. So what was that? 380 times cosine of 23.2333 equals, and I get P equals 349.2. Okay. All right, great. And that is in the direction of um, going east to do that, okay? All right. So that's good. All right, I got my P, all right? Um, and that is in the easterly direction. So I have P. So now I've solved the first formula, check. Now I'm going to do this formula, tan C equals uh, P over L. So uh, that was formula one. Here's formula two tan C equals departure over change in latitude. Now, I want to get C, so I got to get uh, rid of the tan. So that's going to be C equals tan to the minus 1 of P over L. So C equals uh, tan minus 1. Now, I got to be careful here. Um, if P, I got to keep the, the units of P and L the same. So it's either going to be minutes, minutes, or degrees, decimal, degrees, degrees, decimal, degrees. Since P is already in, in minutes, I'm going to use that. So that's going to be 349.2. Now I need L in minutes. So do I have L in minutes? Well, uh, I have L in, uh, uh, oh, here we go. Uh, L was 608, okay? So I need to convert that to all minutes, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do to do that is, so convert to minutes. So I'm going to multiply the 6 times 60. That's going to give me 3,600. 3, and I had 8 already. So I drop that down. And that should give me 368 minutes. So my L value in minutes is 368. So that is going to go up here, okay, right there, 368. So now I do uh, second tangent, and I'm going to go 349.2 divided by 368, and that is 43. So C, the internal angle, course angle, equals 43.2. Five. Okay, great. Now, uh, I need to convert C to CN. Now, we happen to be going to the northeast, so C equals CN, but basically I'm going to use my little bit of uh, my little formula over here, okay? So, CN is going to equal uh, 0, 0, 0, that's north, and east means plus, in this case, plus 43.5, and that's going to convert CN, that was C, that's going to convert that into 043.5. That is my CN. Okay? Great. So I've answered one of the first questions. I've answered that question. Now, to get the D, I'm going to do my third formula. Okay? And uh, three, okay, formula one, formula two, formula three, D equals L over cosine C. All right? So uh, that is D. Uh, L is, I'm going to leave it in minutes now, 368 divided by the cosine. Now, remember, I'm doing a trig function, so the C has to be in degrees. I'm just going to plug that number right in. Well, I'm going to plug in that, 43.5. And D equals, so uh, 368 divided by cosine of 43.5, boom, 507. So that is 507.3. And that is my distance. And now I have answered both of those questions. Okay. So um, now, if you wanted to go back to Bowditch, you could see Bowditch doing all that. All right, I'll just take a minute. Okay. But anyway, yeah. So you see um, uh, down here. So there was the D low, the LM, got those, calculated P, 
Okay, converted L to minutes, stuck that in there, got C, okay, and then did that formula and got D and then converted C to CN. And that was, so anyway, it's a little bit cryptic, but all those steps are right there too.